Boston Women is excited to announce the inaugural She Shines Awards. This is kind of our way of recognizing the most outstanding female leaders in the Low Country. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. And now I would like to welcome to the Charleston Women Podcast, two of the faces and forces behind Charleston Women. We have Stacey McLaughlin and Lorna Hollifield. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Erin. Yeah. Is it kind of weird being on your own podcast? Like, yes. <laughs> we are thrilled. We're honored to have you and honored to, you know, talk about your new She Shines Awards, which have had such a buzz on social media. I feel like I'm seeing it everywhere. But before we dive in, for someone who is new to Charleston Women, or who new to town or just hasn't had the chance to pick up the magazine, just kind of tell us more about what it is you ladies are trying to accomplish with this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Charleston Women is a media brand. It's a magazine. It's a presence. It's it's really a vibe. And it's exactly what it sounds like. We're trying to represent all of the different types of women in Charleston from all of the different backgrounds, all different ages and demographics. Because Charleston has this X factor that people are just mm-hmm. drawn to it. Travel and Leisure magazine just named us the number one place in the U.S. again. And it's always, you know, the top something in the, you know, every right. travel magazine in the world. And the women are really unique here and they're entrepreneurs and they're moms and they're politicians and they're just go getters. And um, we just we want to showcase that. We want to highlight that. Right. I you feel like in that. such a short oh. time, uh-huh. launching Charleston Women to what it is now, you guys have mm-hmm. just rapid fire accelerated. Well, what thank you. you think, like, what is your secret? Why do women love Charleston women so much? You know, I think it's been five years now, and I think it's the community we've built. Right. It's um, it which has been really exciting. Like as Lorna said, it's you know, women are so multifaceted, and we're really spotlighting them in whatever it is that th- that they are involved in. Um, but they come together, and the community has been fantastic. Like I see women that. I know have met through our events and now they're tagging each other on social media and supporting each other and going to each other's events. So it's re- it's been really exciting. That's the cool part to see is yeah. the relationships that evolve and they'll be collaborating and they met at something of ours. We had nothing really to do with it except just bringing them together, bring them together. and that's yeah. what it's about. Right. And it is, you're not just a magazine. It's like you're a club almost, right? Because yeah, I know I've met people much, yeah. at Charleston Women events and then you see them six months later and you're like, hey, I remember you from that. And <laughs> yeah, to your point, yeah. you're collaborating, exactly. with, you know, continuing to interact and work together. So let's dive into the She Shines Awards. This is new, correct? For the magazine? Yeah, yeah. Lauren, right. For those of us listening, Lauren is dancing. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, you've done a heck of a job. That I feel like it's all over social media. Everyone's promoting it and talking talking about it, but well, let's just start with like, what is it? What are these awards that women are vying for? Um, the, the concept behind the awards is to highlight amazing women in various fields. And a lot of them are business fields, but we're even highlighting like the shining stay at home mom in Charleston. Yeah. So it's not all about business. It's about extraordinary women across the board. And what we're doing is allowing our readers a chance to have their voices heard because it's going to be voted on by readers, by our followers. And we're just the platform that, you know, can, we're we're, we're the megaphone. So they're going to yell into that megaphone. And we're really excited just to to write the stories of these women um, about the winners, about the runner ups. And, you know, also just about amazing women in general throughout that issue. Mm -hmm. It really is an issue of extraordinary women, but the awards are about recognizing and giving credit where it's due. Can we go through some of the categories? Because I, when I was flipping through them, you really have some pretty niche stuff, which I thought was kind of cool too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like so we, we put the categories under the seven departments of the magazine. So mm-hmm. every issue of the magazine, we have seven departments, which is business, wellness, philanthropy, arts, style, food, and home. Mm-hmm. Um, so under those departments, we came up with categories. So mm-hmm. um, like, you know, we have like business ones like best in law, best in education, um, real estate, 
Um, and then under wellness, I know we have eye care, um, uh, yes, yeah, um, um, holistic medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the home, we did photography and um, even um, musicians and, you know, designers. Yes. Yeah. In 1996, it was Southern Women to Women magazine. Now it's Charleston Women magazine. Charleston Women is all about strong, capable, confident, hardworking, nurturing, determined, dedicated, and inspiring women. Our readers are business owners, entrepreneurs, mothers, sisters, wives, and grandmothers. Pick up your copy of Charleston Women Magazine at Charleston Area, Harris Teeters, and Food Lions. Charleston Women Magazine. We are Charleston Women. You're listening to the Charleston Women Podcast. It's fill in the blank, correct? So if it's like best OBGYN, yes. you can write in whomever. How correct. are you selecting votes right now? We just go to the website and can yep. do so, all so, so, so far, we've had over 1,500 votes That's great. so far. And our um, voting is going until August 2nd, Friday, August 2nd. And then we have a independent contractor that will go through all the votes and tally the votes. And so, like you said, you just write it in. So there's not like, it's not like people were nominated first. Right. So we will just tally up the votes and we will announce the top three in each category. When does the announcement come? So the announcement officially will be in the winter issue, which comes out in November. We will notify the winners in in early September and so or late August, I should say, and start um, giving them the opportunity to to spotlight themselves in that issue. But then the winter issue is when we announce all the winners. Yeah, and that kind of brings me to my next question: These women that have been nominated, you know, by their peers, what does this mean for them when they find out in November? Like, oh my gosh, I got it. What is this going to do for them? Have, let me ask you this. Have you ever won anything before? <laughs> Rarely, <laughs> but occasionally. <laughs> yeah. You've won some awards. Yeah. And when you know your peers are the ones who said, she's the best at this, it mm -hmm. is the most flattering feeling. And it's more, it is, it's about the emotion of it. And yes, if they're voted best, will it increase their business? Absolutely. Will people trust them more? Absolutely. But she's going to get to feel that buzz of like, I'm the homecoming queen. It's going to feel <laughs> good. Um, I won this like silly superlative, like I say silly because it was just for fun, you know, in the junior league I was in and it was, they had voted me most talented and it made me feel like a million bucks. It was just this like end of the year thing, but mm -hmm. this is something the entire low country is going to see. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it always feels good to get a compliment yeah. like that. And the most important thing is that it's our readers and other business women that are doing the mm -hmm. voting. And that and that's what we're excited about is having the readers, having our followers on social media speak out about who shines in their life in, in various fields. Yeah. Why did you ladies want to do this? I feel like in every magazine you're are you're highlighting women every issue, but why did you want to take it to the next level to create the She Shines Awards? It's well, there's there's several reasons. Mm -hmm. One is that we've covered it, the recognition. We want to recognize people in our community. We want to include our readers in something. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't just something that we're coming up with in the back room at the office. This is something we've extended to anyone who wants to vote. And so it's a way to have outreach with the community and just build that bridge even stronger between our magazine and the community, because that's what it's about. Our magazine is not about here, read this and think everything we think. It's what do you think? And then let's, this is the platform for us to put it out there. It's about togetherness for me. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, I love it. <laughs> I think it's going to be exciting. <laughs> let me see who we wins. I'm so excited. excited. It, we have a little extra time. Can we just let the readers get to know you two a little bit better? Sure. Yeah, Lauren is like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, um, I, Stacey, you're on the left. So I'm, I'm going to start with you. Your title okay. is your brand ambassador, correct? Like yes. kind of, to me, you are the great connector of all these women in the magazine. You know, why, what drew you to Charleston women? Yeah, well, thank you. Um, and I love that, that I'm the great connector. Um, so I was in publishing for many years in New York. And um, when Bill and I had met through, I actually was buying advertising. I was on the other side of it for a little while and buying advertising from Bill, um, Bill Machio, who um, has started Charleston Women five years ago. And um, he wanted me to come on and basically be, you know, 
be the face behind Charleston women. And then we were so excited to bring Lorna on board, but it's been so exciting to just, um, you know, like you said, connect women, tell their stories and build this publication that is really, we're, it, we're so proud of it, of where it's, where it started and where it is now. Um, our social media has grown so much. Um, the editorial we do is fabulous. And then of course our podcast with you, we love and so many women love it. So yeah, it's been, it's been a great journey for me, a great, part of my career. I've been really excited about being a part of this and seeing it grow. Yeah. Well, obviously excited to have you <laughs> facilitating all this. Thank you. I, um, Lorna, I remember when you first started, how many years has it been now? It's uh, been about two and a half years. Two and a half years. And for those mm -hmm. who don't know, Lorna is an author, an amazing, amazing writer. So just kind of what made you want to make that switch from author to go into publishing and to take this on? Um. Well, I'm in love with writing, obviously. The written word is everything. I've never been a fan of writing newsy um, type stories because I felt like it would take the humanity out a little bit. I didn't like just reporting. I wanted to like do the deep dive and really get to know someone. And I saw Charleston women for the first time while I was in the Low Country Live studio. I was in the green oh. room <laughs> waiting to be on the show. I did an art segment for you yeah. guys. And I was reading the magazine and I was like, this is amazing. This is yeah. lifestyle. This is the women behind the business. I have to be a part of this. And I thought that then they weren't hiring anything. It was like a year later. Mm -hmm. I saw they were looking for a managing editor and it was just, this is my moment. My daughter was a year old at the time. So mm -hmm. I, you know, she was able to, I was, I was able to leave her. Let's put it that way yeah. for a yeah. little bit more um, to pursue this. And I, it, I really want her to see me doing something to mm -hmm. like really pursuing something. And I wanted to be part of a team. Writing can get a little bit lonely. I'm an extroverted mm -hmm. writer. So I really liked having a team around me doing something I couldn't do by myself that mm -hmm. celebrated something so amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Stacy connects women. I, I like to connect with women. I like to meet the mm. person behind, you know, behind the business, behind the tagline, behind the ad. Like I want, I want to meet her. Right. And so I think that's part of, um, it kind of blesses me to, to get to meet the women that way. But also I get to be the one to show them, to show them to the world. And right. that's exciting. For right. me. And what a gift that you have and that you get to share with the low country and telling other women's stories. Um, any insights into what's upcoming in the magazine or, or any really cool features or stories that you can kind of tease for us? Like we said, it's about extraordinary women. So you're going to see a lot about women who are unique in this next issue. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, we're going to have our winners. But then as far as the additional editorial, the magazine's going to be about people who do things that are above and beyond. You're going to see mm -hmm. a lot of bravery, a lot of um, ambition. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see just things that are unique and outstanding across the board, business, sports, um, fashion, everything. So you're going to see a lot of that in this issue. I love and that. our fall issue, um, the digital copy, the digital version is going live today, actually. And our fall issue will be out. It's fabulous. It's uh, a, a fashion issue and Ooh. it shows fashion through the ages. The front mm -hmm. cover is where so amazing or really really yeah. you guys all you've had some really killer front front covers our something. covers are fantastic yeah. that is mark staff our mark is he spot is on really yeah the three of us work together and come up with concepts yeah. and it's just gotten better and better so definitely pick up that fall issue i think you'll really love it yeah, yeah. mark staff i do want to comment on him a little bit because you could i will stacy or myself we'll come up with like the most bizarre vision and he just nails it like yeah. i'll be like it's gonna be like an octopus but nice <laughs> and he'll be like got it i mean but they're all wearing also, pink <laughs> but women don't know that he's for hire that you can use him for headshots lifestyle shoots mm -hmm. he's shot album covers 
Um, so I just really wanted to give him a shout out because of how amazing he That's is with cool. all of that. And I've seen but, behind the scenes, like he's like on ladders, like he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we will do anything for a shot. Right? Up on scaffolding, we get the women up on scaffolding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. you name it. <laughs> um, how about any upcoming events before we go? A lot of people that are new to town, I think, find this podcast and listen to it for a chance to connect. So yeah. obviously they can go online, they can read the magazine, yeah. but there's in-person connections. What's coming yeah. up? And follow us on Instagram for updates yeah. on events. But we do have a Coffee Connect next Thursday morning. Coffee Connect is a series of morning meetings that we do. We've been doing them about every six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's at one of uh, at a business. And it's usually from eight to nine in the morning. So there is one next Thursday morning. The I think that's the 25th mm -hmm. um, at Louise in Somerville. Mm -hmm. And then the one the, the next one after that, I it will be at Riverlanding Dentistry's new Mount Pleasant office that's opening okay. very soon. I think it opens next week. Um, so look for that date. I don't have that date yet. And then we will do the Charleston Women kind of exclusive launch party for the fall issue. Mm -hmm. And that will be held probably just after Labor Day. So, okay. yeah. So stay tuned on social yeah. for all the things coming up. Um, go ahead and give me the website where people can go ahead and cast their votes. Yeah. We just go to charlestonwomen.com. I had you it can do that, time. but you could also go to cwshishines.com. Okay. There you go. And, um, or you could go to charlestonwomen.com and you could get to it from there, but cwshishines.com and voting is going on till August 2nd. Okay. So cwshishines.com. Say that, say that 10 yeah, times fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, is there anything that I forgot that you would like to add? It's been so fun talking to you. I don't think so. No. Just come join us. The more the merrier. Yeah. Be a part of this. Yeah. I know. We I got to go to a coffee want, connect yeah. recently and I made oh, new that's friends. Right. Remember? Yeah. It was lovely. Yeah, I didn't get to stick good. around and shop though. Stacey, I saw all of you in the same dress. Yes. Three of us bought yeah, the same dress. bought the same dress. It was fabulous. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. You have been listening to the Charleston Women Podcast. Go ahead and cast your votes now for the She Shines Awards. Go to cwsheshines.com. Thanks for spending time with Charleston. Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.